Are giraffes OP? Giraffes are kind of broken. As animals, I do think they're kind of broken. Like, if, if giraffes wanted to gangbang humans, I think they might be able to. The Africa server is full of extremes. You've got the most powerful builds in the game, including the largest... Waka, you remind me of a 16-year-old quirky freak of a girl. Terrestrial build in the entire game currently. But while the African bush elephant may indeed be the largest, it isn't the tallest. That title goes to the subject of today's video, the giraffe. But is being the tallest build in the game actually that effective of a strategy? It is pretty How does it effective. Play out in practice, and what abilities did the giraffe spec into in order to compound its innate advantages? The giraffe's extreme height. I think it's funny how animals be running past each other. It's like when they're like when they're past them, they're not hungry. They just be running past each other, and then out of nowhere, they just kick each other or attack each other. Several benefits. The first of these is how it completely changes the dynamics regarding the game's stealth mechanics. So most top predators in the African savanna opt for the ambush strategy to get within striking range of their targets. Oh, yeah. They tend to Giraffes rely on a combination stealth. of innate camouflage and use of natural cover to evade detection while closing most of the distance, breaking from cover only at the last possible second when they believe they can close the remaining distance before the target has a chance to react. But I don't understand. How do people look at giraffes and think, oh, yeah, I want to take this man on. Yeah, I'm going to take him. Kill us up. If you want people to sub, uh, sub to your OnlyFans, you have to plug your Instagram first. You gotta have, you have to have people rate you. You can't just say buy the OnlyFans. They need a preview. <laughs> this strategy is almost completely useless against the giraffe because the stealth benefit from natural cover, things like tall grass and bushes, is entirely negated when oh, viewed yeah. from a high vantage point. Yeah. While staying low to the ground may obscure your character from the perspective of something like a gazelle or zebra, to a giraffe, you are completely exposed and your approach was seen coming from quite a ways off. The second main benefit granted to the giraffe via its height is a bonus to its defense. Because of the giraffe's hurt box is Look at that man moving, bro. Look at those elegant legs. Oh, if I was an animal, I'd definitely be a giraffe. Yeah. Off the ground, it's extremely difficult for most players to land a hit on the giraffe's vitals. In fact, for literally every relevant threat in the African meta, landing a strike on the giraffe's weak point requires either a risky jump strike or an ambush from an elevated position. Jesus! Neither of which are very efficient strategies, with the jump strike <laughs> in particular being easily punishable by any of the giraffe's many powerful <laughs> counterattack options. Speaking bro, of, let's yeah, take a look at what those are. The giraffe's on, reach not only keeps its own vitals out of attack range, but also... Ain't no, th but this is what I also find interesting with look animals, at what those bro. Are. Like, look the at this. Giraffe the man, he knows someone's plotting to eat him and attack him, and he just stands there, swiping his leg. Like, there's no panic. He's just like, yeah, move. Like a fly. This reach not only keeps its own... Like, he's trying to kill you. And he's just like... attack range, but also makes it... Kilosa underscore cheered X100. In theory, in theory, would you rather smash a giraffe or a four-tenths Arab? What's a four-tenths Arab? What does that mean? I'd smash the human. Unless the human's you, then I'd probably choose a giraffe. Very easy for a giraffe main to land their own attacks. Similar to horses and zebras, the giraffe's main method of attacking is its kick, dealing moderate damage to any target that dares enter the giraffe's zone of control. However, when the giraffe really needs to deal some damage, it resorts to its signature move, the Ossicone Bash. The giraffe <laughs> swings its neck in a wide arc. <gasps> no, bro. Okay, bro. Super neck. Super neck. I'd definitely be a giraffe. I'd definitely be a giraffe when we talk about super neck. With the intent to connect with the horn-like protrusions on its skull, called ossicones. Connecting with this attack means pretty much instant game over for any player it hits, unless they have an extremely large health pool, such as another giraffe. However, it is a bit more risky to just throw this move out, considering that it puts your normally out-of-reach weak point like, in this is the fighting bro it is a like they're just standing more beside each throw. other and they're just like this is this is combat for them this move out considering that it puts your normally out of reach weak point in a potentially vulnerable position and also deals a little recoil damage with each use as well and if an attacking player does manage to dodge the first swing and get in close using this move becomes much more difficult since the close range hitbox is a bit of a sour spot 
But still, the mere threat of this move is enough to dissuade most attacks, to the point that most Predator players won't even bother with a high-level giraffe. Low-level giraffe mains are a lot more vulnerable, oh, yeah, and this done. is where the efficacy of the giraffe's reach and height is really put to the test. Upon spawning in, the giraffe is pretty much helpless. It doesn't have the height advantage on its opponents yet, but because of its slender, lanky shape, it has disadvantage on all saving Nigga kicked his own son. throws to avoid being grappled or knocked prone. And so it's the job of the higher level giraffe players to complete the long, arduous escort mission of protecting the newborn giraffe as it matures. Now, because the giraffe's attack range is so broad, it is able to guard a wide area and pressure a counterattack on any player that would dare target the newborn. However, because the giraffe does not possess any AoE attacks, defending against multiple opponents at once can be quite challenging. I mean, it really shouldn't be, to be honest, if you're a giraffe. You should be able to just one-kick headshot them. You know, if you're not one-kicking them, like, you probably need to hit the weight room and get a few more squats in or something like that. Get some more calisthenics in, because you should definitely be one-shot in these lines. Often necessitating that a newborn tank a few hits as the mother chases away one attacker at a time. Now, despite having not leveled up at all, the giraffe starts with a pretty generous amount of HP. But even so, it's not uncommon for the escort mission to fail. And with a respawn time of 15 months, this is certainly one of the most frustrating aspects. That man aspects. dipped his child! The nigga dipped! The nigga dipped! Oh my god! Of giraffe gameplay. Next, let's talk about individual matchups. First, we have the cheetah. Anyways, on a serious note, first- Did he just tell us cheetah to stop by putting his hand down? Who is this man? Why didn't you stream on Wednesday? Nigga, I did. What the fuck? I streamed on Tuesday and Wednesday. Dumb bitch. Let's talk about individual matchups. First, we have the cheetah. Anyways, on a serious note, first we have the leopard. Now, the leopard is one of the most interesting matchups because of its ability to climb and attack from a high vantage point. Leopard players have been known to use their ability to climb as part of their this ambush strategy. This man is a monkey. Pouncing on their target from above. This could mean That's it's the so only unfair. predator in the game with an honest shot at landing a surprise crit against the giraffe. But in all honesty, this would be an insanely risky strategy. And since leopards hunt alone, there's really not much reason to try and take down such large prey, when they can survive just fine off of the standard diet of antelope and deer. Still, against a lower level giraffe, I could see this strategy working pretty well, if no allies were around to rescue it. But since leopards kill slowly by strangling their target with their bite, this gives the giraffe's party members a lot of time to react and respond accordingly. This is similar to the issue lions have if, in their I'm matchup. telling y'all, if giraffes ran in packs, they'd be unstoppable. Them and elephants. Well, elephants do run in packs. The only thing that the only things that stop elephants from dominating is humans, because we value their tusks so much for some reason. That's why they're going extinct. If elephants didn't have humans, bro, they'd be top, they'd be top tier. Against giraffes. Compared to some of the other potential threats, a lion can't actually deal that much damage on its own to a giraffe. Even against a low-level giraffe player, it's unlikely they could take it out in a single attack, leading to the same issue as a leopard, where the giraffe's teammates would be able to rescue it. However, because lions do cooperate, together it is possible for a pride of lions to bring down even a large adult giraffe, but not without serious risk to the attackers. And since lions typically- I feel like a giraffe attacking lions is like getting attacked by five-year-olds, bro. If you do not one-shot them niggas, bro. Uh, in fact, I'll give it 10-year-olds. Still one-shot them? They 10! We close in on their targets by staying low to the ground and moving slowly. The giraffe's height is perfectly suited to detecting their approach and escaping before they're in any real danger. So lions taking down giraffes does happen, but it's exceptionally rare. The rhino is an interesting matchup. Obviously, giraffes and rhinos have no real reason to attack each other. Yeah. But due to the rhino's poor eyesight, it tends to perceive most players that come near it to be threats regardless. <laughs> rhinos are so stupid, bro. Lucky for you gay or straight, straight. For the giraffe, the rhino's horn is not usually able to reach the giraffe's weak point. So as long as it can avoid getting knocked over, giraffes tend to do just fine in this matchup. Despite the incredible range of a rhinoceros's horn, the giraffe's kick can still outrange it. And although rhinos are quite tanky, a good kick <laughs> to the face is usually enough to dissuade further attacks. An important matchup I want to a good kick to the face oh is usually God. enough to dissuade further attacks. An important matchup I want to discuss is the hyena. Now, because they can't really jump, hyenas don't have anywhere near the vertical threat range that lions or leopards do. So attacking jump, hyenas don't have anywhere near the vertical threat range that lions or 
Am I tripping or is that not terrifying? You are not straight. Then why the hell did you ask me? Why did you ask me if you said just said I'm not? I don't understand. What leopards do. So attacking an adult giraffe is pretty much out of the question. However, instead of this increased agility, hyenas have a much more powerful bite. Rather than requiring a critical hit, a hyena can crack bone with a single bite anywhere on the target, which can immediately disable their prey and make rescue attempts futile. This oh is particularly God, effective leg. against players who rely on their teammates for protection, as even if an ally does step in to fight off the attackers, oftentimes it's simply too late and the damage has already been done. Eventually, the teammates will move on and the hyenas will be able to close they out. They moved the on a little too fast for me. You can't mourn your child's death at all. Golly. Kill. Lastly, I don't think it's any real surprise to see that giraffes still have to respect the space of an elephant. Elephants are tall enough to gore a giraffe with their powerful tusks. So if there's ever a territorial dispute between an elephant and a giraffe, the elephant always wins. Thankfully for a giraffe, its longer legs grant it a faster run speed. So while elephants do pose a serious threat, this hardly ever actually results in direct damage. In fact, by and large, rather than competing with other herbivores for the best resources, the giraffe's unique access to treetops means that it actually makes a lot of sense for other herbivores to tolerate or even appreciate the presence of a giraffe. Mm. They aren't taking away any food that they would have accessed anyway, and could also serve as an early warning system if they see predators coming. So, while they're definitely not the most overpowered build, they're certainly up there. Near untouched- Some, you know, that's natural selection right here. So, while- like the They're kid felt himself not going up, the and he still held on to it. Like, like that's natural selection. Sometimes you gotta let <laughs> overpower build. They're certainly up there, near untouchable for the vast majority of their playthrough, and a fairly reliable protection in the early game. I'd put them in solid A tier. In fact, it's somewhat strange that other herbivore players haven't started specking into similar height advantages to gain the same survival perks as the giraffe. The mm. giraffe is extremely unique in its role in the meta, which is weird because historically, the treetop grazer giant type build has been extremely successful. Giant long-necked rhinoceros reigned supreme during the Oligocene. And How did he get this footage? They were his cameras this long ago? 33 million? I guess... Yeah, I could see cameras happening then. Okay, this makes sense. Never For mind. that, we saw this strategy absolutely dominate during the Mesozoic in the form of the sauropod dinosaur. Okay, I think Mesozoic might have been way too far for cameras. I think that was way too far away. So why only the giraffe in today's meta? There are a few theories on this, but that's beyond the scope of this video. In terms of strategy and playstyle, the closest thing we have today is probably the camel. But surprisingly, the giraffe is not that closely related to camels. So if what if giraffes are only A tier, what the hell is S? Elephant has to be S tier. Elephant has to be S tier. The giraffe only has two close relatives in the current meta. The first is the Okapi, a strange build that functions as sort of a middle ground between deer and giraffes. It's so disgusting. And the second is one that basically nobody would expect, the pronghorn, which is completely different than the giraffe in both stature and location. Both the Okapi and Giraffe are only playable on the Africa server, but to find the Pronghorn, you need to travel all the way to the North America we server. We are the ones who the have them! We have this Pronghorn disgusting deserves... piece of trash while they have giraffes? This is so not fair. Africa has giraffes and, uh, and uh, elephants, bro. I want an elephant, man. An entire video to itself, since it's such a fascinating build with an extremely distinct strategy from everything else on the American server. And guess what? That video, it already exists. You can watch it right now, a month before everyone else, by subscribing to Nebula, a streaming service owned and operated by and- It has Gravity Falls up here. We might have to subscribe to Nebula, guys.